Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Ruby and in today's class, we will be discussing Gordon Alport's trait theory of personality. An important part of your UGC net education syllabus, Unit 3. Through this video, I will explain all the key concepts in a simple, easy to understand way, ensuring you will gain a solid understanding of Alport's theory. By the end of this class, you will feel confident in what you need to know for your exam. First, we will begin by getting to know the man behind this theory, Gordon Alport. Next, we will take a closer look at the essence of Alport's trait theory. We will then understand the main elements that make up Alport's theory. Finally, we will explore the lasting impact of Alport's theory of personality and its contributions to our understanding of human behavior. Now before starting, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, subscribe now and press the bell icon to get more videos like this one. Gordon Alport was a pioneering psychologist whose work continues to influence the field of personality psychology to this day. He was born on November 11, 1897 in Montpelier, Vermont, USA. From an early age, Alport was deeply curious about human behavior and psychology, which led him to pursue a career in this field. In 1922, he received his PhD in psychology from Harvard University. During his time at Harvard, he studied under the mentorship of William McDougall, a prominent psychologist who influenced Alport's early thinking. This connection to McDougall was pivotal in shaping his ideas about human personality. After earning his PhD, Alport continued his career at Harvard University, where he became a professor. He spent many years teaching and conducting research, focusing primarily on personality psychology. His academic work laid the foundation for understanding personality as a unique and individual experience. In contrast to early theories that generalized human behavior, Alport is best known for his trait theory of personality which emphasized that personality is made up of a combination of individual traits, consistent pattern of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that are unique to each person. His theory was groundbreaking because it focused on the individual differences in personality rather than trying to generalize personality traits across all humans. In his later years, Alport's research on personal traits helped shift the focus of psychology towards the study of individual uniqueness, a concept that remains central in personality psychology today. Unfortunately, Alport passed away on October 9, 1967, but his work continues to shape how we understand personality and human behavior. His contributions to psychology were immense and his focus on the individuality of personality has influenced many psychological theories that came after him. Now let us take an overview of Alport's trait theory. Alport's trait theory of personality is grounded in the idea that traits are the basic building blocks of personality. According to Alport, each person possesses a unique set of traits that shapes their behavior and personality. These traits are consistent pattern of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that define how an individual interacts with the world. At the heart of Alport's theory is the belief that personality traits are what distinguishes one person from another whether it's a person's tendency to be outgoing or introverted. Their level of empathy or how they handle stress, these traits 
guide their responses to various situations. Alport focused heavily on individual differences. He believed that understanding the specific traits that define a person is key to understanding their personality. This was in contrast to earlier theories that often look for universal traits that apply to everyone. For Alport, the individual's uniqueness was central. Traits, according to Alport, are not just random or fleeting. He argued that they are stable over time, meaning they persist throughout a person's life and are core to one's identity. For example, a person with a dominant trait of extroversion will likely remain outgoing throughout their life, consistently reacting to social situations with confidence and energy. Finally, Alpo's theory suggests that these traits determine how individuals react to situations. For example, someone with a trait of neuroticism might react to stress with anxiety and worry. Whereas, someone with a trait of emotional stability may remain calm in the same situation. Let me give you an example. Imagine two people attending a public event. One person might feel energized and excited to interact with others, while the other might feel nervous and retreat into themselves. According to Alport, these reactions are determined by their distinct personality traits. Alport's trait theory includes several key elements that help explain the structure and uniqueness of each person's personality. Now, let us explore these main elements in detail. Types of traits. Alport classified traits into three categories. Cardinal traits, central traits, and secondary traits. Cardinal traits are rare and exceptionally dominant. They define a person's entire personality and shape almost everything they do. If someone has a cardinal trait, it becomes their defining characteristic. We must be aware of the famous Mother Teresa example. Now Mother Teresa, who was very compassionate, her compassion was her cardinal trait. It influenced nearly all aspects of her life, from her work with the poor to her day-to-day -day actions. Everything she did was driven by her deep sense of compassion. Next is the central traits. These are the core characteristics that form the foundation of personality. Central traits are general traits stable across different situations and present in most interactions. They are not as overwhelming as critical traits but still significantly shape a person's behavior. Example includes traits like honesty, kindness, and optimism. For example, an honest person would like to value truthfulness in most situations and act with integrity. Next, secondary traits. Secondary traits are more situation-specific and not as consistent as cardinal or central traits. They might only appear in certain context or under particular conditions. Let me give you an example. A person might have a preference for certain types of music or specific food cravings. These traits don't necessarily reflect their core personality but still contribute to their uniqueness. Now, coming to functional autonomy. Alport introduced the concept of functional autonomy, which suggests that as people mature, they develop motivations that become self-directed and independent of their original reasons. This means that while a behavior might begin for one reason, over time, it can evolve and take on new significance.
For example, consider a person who starts playing the piano because their parents encourage them to do. Over time, they may develop a genuine love for music, playing not to please their parents but because they enjoy doing so. This shift reflects their concept of functional autonomy. Next, uniqueness of personality. One of Alport's core beliefs was the uniqueness of each person's personality. He used an ideographic approach, focusing on each person's unique combination of traits. Rather than seeking to generalize traits across all people, Alport emphasized that every individual has a distinct set of traits as unique as a fingerprint. For example, even siblings raised in the same environment can have entirely different personalities. This concept highlights how Alport saw personality as a unique blend of traits in each individual. Together, all these elements of Alport's theory underscore the idea that personality is a complex and unique mix of characteristics with some trait that define us broadly, some that emerge in specific situations, and motivations that can evolve over time. His focus on individuality and the stable yet flexible nature of personality traits paved the way for a deeper understanding of human behavior. Now that we are clear with his theory, let us understand some of the key contributions of Alport's theory. Alport's contribution to psychology have led a profound and lasting impact, especially in the field of personality. His insights shift how we understand individual differences and motivations, laying the foundation for many modern approach in psychology. Let us understand each points one by one, starting with trait theory foundation. Alport's work was pioneering in establishing the field of trait psychology, where personality is understood through a set of stable traits that help predict behavior. His ideas laid the groundwork for future trait-based models, notably the big five personality traits. Though Alport himself focused on each person's unique set of traits, his foundational ideas inspired more systematic approaches to categorize and measure personality traits across populations. Next, focus on uniqueness. Alport believed that understanding an individual requires a personalized approach rather than a one-size-fits-all theory. He encouraged a focus on individual differences, asserting that personality is a complex blend of unique traits rather than a simple set of shared human characteristics. This perspective, known as the ideographic approach, focuses on studying individuals in depth to capture their distinct personality traits. Next, functional autonomy concept. Alport introduced functional autonomy, the idea that as people mature, their motivations become self-directed and independent of past influences. He suggested that initial motivations, often shaped by external pressures, can evolve into actions driven by genuine personal interest. This concept was groundbreaking as it challenged the notion that childhood motivations always determine adult behavior. Next, influence on client-centered therapy. Although Alport was not a therapist, his respect for individuality influenced approaches in humanistic psychology, particularly client-centered therapy. Carl Roger who we have studied in the previous class, the leading humanistic psychologist, 
focused on understanding and valuing each client's unique experiences and perspectives, if you remember. So these principles align with Alport's ideas. Alport's belief in the uniqueness of personality traits encouraged a therapeutic model that emphasizes empathy, respect and understanding for each individual. So there was all on today's class on Alport's trait theory of personality. I hope you like the video. Please let me know in the comment section like, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching and see you in the next class.